Final race here at Punchestown. It's another Grade 3 this time. It's the Buckhouse Chase over two mile, two furlongs for five-year-old horses and up. A fascinating contest here. We've got Sastana Cam for Leon Van Rensburg. Distance up Craig Allen. High intensity Ryan Tamasebi. Mwaleshi Otto for Davy Ladd. Spilled over Ryan Tamasebi. The clown and the count for Joshua Sutherland. The, the latter is our 11-4 favourite. The grey teller Ryan Costello. Black Ascoli Martin Leadham. Daya Breda for Craig Allen. Friday Girl Jim Murray. Night Star Ryan Costello. Rhythm Divine Leon Van Rensburg. And Whistling Sarah for Darren Thompson. Completes the lineup of 14 runners here for the Buckhouse. Grade 3 chase. They're off and running. The starter lets them go. And it's Moaleshi Otto showing the early lead with Night Star. The count uh, on the inside. That one, one of the fancied horses today in the betting. And Sastanakam, another one that likes to race. Uh, at the front of the field and spilled over as well, looking to bounce back after a group win on week one, but a poor showing uh, last week in the Garen Park Champion Chase as they all go over that first flight. Not a particularly great jump at the rear of the field from high intensity distance. Up was slightly awkward over it as well. And the clown is currently your back marker, the other Joshua Sutherland runner. So it's Mwaleshi Otto in the lead, as you can see in the distance. They're racing on that inside track. And the chase track and over you can see the stands in the background the pack stands here at Punchestown and the rain has started to come down it's held off for the majority of the day but it's started to fall again on top of already quite bottomless ground it's spilled over absolutely clatters through that and Sastanakam almost followed suit and did the same I don't know whether it was put off by what it saw in front but spilled over didn't look to jump at all and just plowed straight through it Sastanakam then made the same mistake and it allowed the grey teller to move up alongside those on the outside uh, but we're seeing quite spilled over really slow over that fence as well there and Sastanakam much improved and moves into outright second place but Moleshi Otto with a good few jumps so far traveling really strongly and setting a good pace at the front is putting some pressure on these horses in behind and you can see at the very rear of the field Daya Breda put in a slightly slow jump there as well so Moleshi Otto is going to look to put these horses under significant pressure here with a good round of jump and a much better jump there in third place from spilled over and that one uh, looking to recover from the early mistake Black Ascoli in fourth in the all purple silks of Martin Leadham and just uh, in behind that one, we've got the other grey horse, the Great Teller, and Night Star, Ryan Costello's other grey in the green and white silks. That one's racing out wide on the track. So he's got two grey horses, both in the same silks, but the Great Teller's the one that is putting in a good jump there and moving up uh, into the top four there. And some really good uh, jumping so far. Also some not so good jumping, but there's been some really impressive leaps put in by some of these horses. And Moleshi Otto hasn't done a thing wrong at the front of the field at the moment, being tracked by Sastanakam and spilled over. Bad mistake there by the Grey Teller. Bit of a commentator's curse as that one had been putting in some really good jumps up until that point. But as they come to the next fence, it's a good jump again from Moleshi Otto. Spilled over, got in close. Uh, the, the horse had to correct itself there. Got over it without making a mistake, but certainly lost ground on Sastanakam who again, apart from the, the odd error, uh, one error in fact, has looked pretty good with its jumping so far. The Count and Friday Girl moving up on the inside of the two Ryan Tamasebi runners in the red and blue silks. Uh, this Count's moving up on the inside, Friday Girl moving up on the outside. Another bad mistake from spilled over. Its jumping's not been good enough today and it's starting to move backwards and be swallowed up by lots of these runners. So we're into the final four furlongs. Moaleshi Otto has the lead from Friday Girl in second as they come to the next. Next. We've lost one. Rhythm Divine's gone. We've also lost the, the Grey Teller uh, earlier on. So one of Ryan Costello's runners and one of Leon Van Rensburg runners out the race. And Sestanakam has dropped markedly towards the rear of the field, as has spilled over. So two of the shorter price runners not on a going day today. And Waleshi Otto has really had these under pressure throughout. And Friday Girl is one that's trying to lay down the challenge now. The count is coming there for Joshua Sutherland as well. Into the final one and a half furlongs. It's Waleshi Otto that has the lead. Uh, being challenged on the outside by Friday Girl the count is really trying to stay on and lay down a challenge in third place high intensity staying on from the rear of the field which probably left it a bit too late as there's only half a furlong left to go and the line's fast approaching it's Friday Girl is now past Moleshi Otto the count staying on down the outside into second but Friday Girl takes it for Jim Murray the count second for Joshua Sutherland photo finish to confirm third and fourth place here but yeah so Moleshi Otto the front runner stayed on 
really well, ran really well there for Davy Ladd and a good top three there. High intensity ran on for fourth and the clown completes a top five, Joshua Sutherland's other runner. But Friday Girl wins the Buckhouse grade three chase for Jim Murray.